Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jan Stone Six back here again. Just want to talk to you guys about the recent commitment of of Kadarius Callaway, uh, the sixth best player in the state of Mississippi, one of the best um, athletes uh, in the country, that, which he's actually listed. Um, I think around like what close to thirty seventh or twenty fourth somewhere on that line, but he's you know he's three hundred sixty fifth um, in the country um, when it comes to just the national composite rankings. Um, so this is a guy with a lot of talent, 6'1", 195 pounds, already has the college-ready size, can play receiver, cornerback, and safety. Um, Watch a little bit of his film, um, even though it was like maybe against a, against one opponent. Uh, show some, just show great athleticism, great ball skills on both sides of the ball, can tackle. Um, so yeah, man, like I said, it, it is the high school level, so it is, it, it's a little hard. Um, it's a little harder to definitely evaluate talent just because it is high school and because he definitely play, I think, for a small school in Mississippi. But, you know, this is a guy that was uh, – this was a shocking one. Um, you know, no one really had Kadarius Callaway on Alabama's radar. Um, a lot of people expected that Bama was just going to look – you know, they was going to look uh, elsewhere or they were focused on somewhere else. But, you know, Kadarius Callaway was offered, um, according to some of the um, – according to some of the Bama insiders, that um, he was offered in April 24th uh, or somewhere on the line. He was offered in April, and um, that was it. <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, obviously Alabama offered him. They, they saw that this is a very talented individual. This is someone that can definitely help the program. Uh, but I don't, but, you know, again, this is behind, this is all behind closed doors. So maybe Alabama was making a very, very hard push recently, and that's what got Kadarius Callaway inspired because, you know, like I said, he's been committed with the Mississippi State for, I think, for a little bit now. Um, he is from the state of Mississippi. He has a great relationship with the coaching staff there. Even though Moorhead, he met with Moorhead, he has a great relationship with him, but because he left, um, you know, obviously they brought the head coach from Mississippi, from uh, from Washington State over. So maybe they had to do something with it. Maybe the controversy with the flag. Uh, maybe they had to do something with it as well. Who knows? But Alabama got him, and um, like I said, I'm happy about this with with, with this. Um, again, you know, whoever is committed, whether if you're a one star, two star, three star, four star, five star recruit, I'm happy that they're committed to the University of Alabama because at the end of the day, once you once you step to the program, it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter what star you are, that that all goes away, and it's really all about you know you know can you become the best of you, right? Can you can you live up to your potential? And, um, you know, if you can live up to that potential, then guess what? You're going to be developed, sent to the league, right? Remember the three stars in Josh Jacobs, Eddie Jackson, right? A lot of those guys that were three-star recruits and ended up being, five, ended up, ended up being first-round picks. Um, so, yeah, stars really don't matter there. So, yeah, like this pickup here, it was a shocking one because, again, no one expected him to even flip from Mississippi State to go to Alabama, but Bama gets it. So, with this one... Um, they move up to 11th now, so again they're they're 11th in the, in the in the country when it comes to recruiting. Hopefully Alabama continues to uh, with this momentum. Um, they, you know who knows maybe the Brockemeyer twins, Mason Smith, Payne, maybe some of those guys will commit to the University of Alabama and Bama continues to climb up those rankings. Um, but yeah, Bama fans, let me know below, uh, below the description. Do you guys uh or in the comment section below? Do you guys like this pickup? Do you guys feel like he's going to be a, a contributor? And you know, because this really came out of nowhere, do you feel like he'll he'll stick with the Bama commitment or he'll flip somewhere else? Let me know below the comment section. We can definitely hash this out below. Anyway, Jan Seven Six. Have a good night. Peace.